In this video, we're going to show how to add a NAS device like a Drobo to Retrospect so you can use it as a backup destination. The first thing you're going to do is go to Sources on the left and then click the Add button at the top. And then click on the button that says Share. Under Share, you can enter in the path to the NAS device. And you would use a format like AFP colon slash slash and then the address slash share name. In this case, we're actually going to do this as an SMB volume. So we're going to do SMB colon slash slash, enter in the name slash, and then the share name. The share name has been pre-configured by you on your NAS device before you got to this point. Then we enter in a username so we can authenticate to the NAS. In this case, I enter in the username and the password, and then I click on Add. It will then appear in the list of available volumes. After I've done that, I go to Media Sets, I click on Add, and then I click on uh, Media Sets, and then choose Disk as the Media Set Type. We're going to use the default name of Media Set A, but you can enter any name you want. You can then decide if you want to use encryption up to AES 256-bit encryption, or leave encryption turned off. You can also enable the Retrospect Storage Group option. In this case, we're going to leave that off. We're going to click on Add. And then we need to select our NAS device. The NAS device will automatically appear in the list of available volumes. If for some reason it doesn't appear, you can click Add Share and enter in the path like we did earlier in the video. You then specify the use at most value or how much space you want to utilize on that disk for future backups. And then you click on Add. Once you've done that, then you have the ability to specify your backup policy. You can use no grooming or you can specify a grooming method which will remove old data once the backup drive gets full. After you've created this media set, it will be available for backup. So if I were to go to Backup and then use Custom Backup, I can choose my Macintosh hard drive as my source, click Continue, and then I can select the media set that's going to go directly to my NAS device. And this will allow me to get my data backed up from my Macintosh hard drive to my NAS media set.